This is a little device I made quite a while ago um, to compare LEDs. I call it an LED comparator. And basically speaking, it's um, got two Molex connectors in the front that you put an LED into, and it's got a switch. And what happens is it's got a resistor inside and to limit the current. And when you put the two LEDs in, it lets you switch between them, like this. And that means, I don't know if you'll really see it uh, too well. I'll cover it over so you can actually see it, so it can come further away as well. Um, it means that you can switch quickly between the LEDs and instantly tell that the one on the right, in this instance, is actually a lot brighter than the one on the left. It's also the one on the right's got a softer, warmer orange, and the one on the left's a deeper orange. So it lets you... Um, just point at a wall in a dark room and do an instant comparison because I was finding that, you know, I'd get various batches of LEDs from different suppliers and it's sometimes quite hard to tell the LED intensity uh, or compare them just by using something like this. And this uh, has been really useful. But there's another feature. The channel that's off uh, also has a trickle current going through it of just 5 microamps. Now, that's just barely enough to make an LED glow, but um, it's very useful because with the early gallium nitride LEDs, you tend to have quite a high failure rate from the standard packs that you got from China. And by testing them at 5 microamps, if you plugged it in and the LED lit, then it was probably going to be pretty reliable. It was probably going to be quite good, but if you plugged it in and the LED did not light, um, it suggested there was a fault in the LED. And quite often the same LED would light when you put the full current through it. And uh, when you turned it back to the off position, it might then glow, even if it hadn't been glowing before. But it did indicate that the LED was going to fail at some point. Now, the circuit for this is really simple. It's a PP3 battery inside here a 330 ohm resistor and a single pole double throw switch and that switch is between two Molex connectors which are you put the LED into it and that means that the 330 ohm resistor limits the current through each LED in turn as you switch across. There's a 100k resistor across the two outputs of the switch it's just soldered directly across the back of the switch and that's the bit that leaks the current through the 5 microamps um, when a, an LED channel isn't turned on um, and it's been a very useful tool, the LED comparator.